what's up guys so once we have tested our API we can go ahead and uh, start to create our comp components in uh, QJS but the first thing I would just like try start to copy and paste like the CDN for Bootstrap so we can use Bootstrap into our app to make our life easier paste it into your index HTML just below the title just go ahead we also going to need the jQuery so we can go ahead and uh, just go to the jQuery like a CDN, copy the script, uh, go back to Visual, to the text editor, and just type it here. Just paste it here. So to make our life easier, I already done a couple of codes uh, for the for the rooms of how it's going to look like. Uh, I'll I'll make this code available in the GitHub if you want. So you can go ahead and uh, just make your life like this here. So just go to your hello.u. So for now I'm just going to paste it here. And let's go see how it's going to look like. Oh, uh, this. Yeah. So it's going to look like something like this, which is what we want, yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. We're going to work on the on the timer now, so you can go ahead and uh, create a new component. You can call it timer and dot view. So First thing we want to do, we want to scaffold. So we want if class equal container. This uh, container uh, will uh, have a p tag, which uh, which will be which will contain. Which will which contain days that we're going to create now, and we have this, and we contain hours as well, and we also contains uh, minutes, and it will also contain seconds. So yeah, after you've done this, you can just go ahead and close the p tag. I like to always format my code to look nice and clean. So yeah, once you're going to call this component from a different file, from hello.view, we can call this component by saying, uh, I don't know, timer, and we can pass it data, which will be which would be August 22nd, 2017. And we can just go into close the timer. But we're not going to do it here, but this is how we're going to use this component for. So first of all, we can create a prop. and create a props. And uh, this props will have a, a date, which the date would be a type of uh, Will be a type of a string. So yeah. So once you have the props for the data, we want to return some data, and the data that we're going to return it will be. Just give a second. And return yeah. So the data that we want to return, uh, we want to have uh, a counter for now. So we're literally just going to call it now, and we're going to have we want to have a count that it will count. Then, then we want to have a method that we want to have a loop. So we want to have a method. We shall just call it loop. Here's one. I don't know. Time of loop. Uh, 
So we can call this time a loop. And we can just call something called this dot counter is plus plus. So once we call this method time and loop, we increment the counter every single time. And uh, then we can do this dot now is equal to a math. Uh, math dot trunker. The math, so math dot trunker will return uh, any integer. So say for example that you have uh, one point two three four five, it will give you back uh, one. So it's basically it is it truncates any decimal pointer. So what we want from here, we want to get the date, and uh, from the date we want to get the time. And time will be divided by 1000. And then we say this counter between 200, and uh, we want to set we want to set a timeout for this the loop of one second. So basically we just want to have a pause of one second every time we counter. Then we want to call the mounted mounted function and every time we load the page we want to call this the loop and yeah so then we want to computer we want to computer To understand every time I need to update the seconds and the minute, I need to create a new variable. I need to create a new function, sorry, and uh, can call it modified modi, modi, modified data. That will be a function. This function it will return me, it will return me the actual date every single time. So give me math dot trunk and then we can meet the date the date the parser and it will give me this the date and we divide it by 1000 which is correct eh? then after this what we want to do we want to do the seconds seconds Seconds, it will return this the modified data minus this the that now, and this will be the reminder of uh, 60, which will give me the seconds. And uh, then uh, I want to have minutes. The minutes it will give me back. Uh, literally the same as this one but uh, uh, it will be first that uh, will be divided by 60 and then it will be done the remainder of 60 to give me the minutes then I can do hours which will literally give me the same as this and uh, but it will be divided by 60, it will be divided by 60 again, and it will do the remainder of 24. And then the last one it will be days. Days it will be literally the same as this one. But instead of doing the remainder of 24, it will be divided by. Sorry, it will divide by. 24 and let's cool so once we have done this eh, uh, we can go ahead and do do in the hello the timer we can do Import 
down down there from from uh, down there to you. And then we need to have we need to have uh, data uh, components uh, count on timer so, yeah but then now we can have See how it looks like. Okay. Talking. Oh. Wait a second. The time is running here, so yeah, everything is good. So I don't know why it's not inside the thing. Just like okay. So you guys see now it's working with the timer. So yeah, thank you so much, and just go ahead and subscribe.